Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the St. Louis Grand Championship. My co-host for this round is... I am Matt Carey. It's good to see all of you people in internet land. Do I see you? I don't. But they, they see you eventually, Yeah. yeah. right? <laughs> well, so I'm super excited for this match. We've got Dan Cimino uh, versus Marcel Manzano. This is an Illinois matchup, Dan Cimino uh, in the in the suburbs versus Marcel of the city. Um, both people that I really like and enjoy as people. Oh, you know They're, this Marcel guy? I do, I do. Oh. He, he's all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but San Samino here bringing, um, you know, we, we, we talked about earlier, like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, first order, we don't really see it too much, and we, this is the second first order list we have on stream. Uh, this is one of the archetypes that yeah. are good. Yeah. For sure. Let's go ahead and break down these lists, Matt. All right. Well, let's start with that first order list. We have Quick Draw with Fanatical, Special Forces Gunner, and Fire Control System. And then we have Kylo Ren, no upgrades, and Lieutenant Tavson, no upgrades. And then well, on the right, we have Marcel Manzano uh, running his World's 2019 list. Uh, Rick Ali with Daredevil, Advanced Sensors, R2 Astromech, Anakin Skywalker in a Naboo Starfighter with Intimidation, Collision Detector, and Advanced Proton Torpedoes. And then Obi-Wan with Sense, R2 Astromech, and Delta 7B Configuration. So this round, if you guys notice, most of the time we have some type of sponsor. Today, this weekend, our, uh, our stream is brought to you by our patrons. We actually are announcing a new level. We have the, uh, the general level, and um, the new thing... The extra thing. There's all kinds of stuff. There's going to be three alt art cards that, uh, let's say, you're, if let's say you're at that top level, what do you get? So there's three full art cards that we're creating. I don't want to spoil the uh, the pilots yet. See, I, I knew I would bring this up in front of Matt, so they're blank. He can tell <laughs> you right now that the the, the pictures no are spoilers blank. For me. No spoilers. But uh, we are continuing our ink series, and we have uh, for the veteran ace uh, commanders and generals. You guys are going to be getting the uh, ink drawing of Supreme Leader Snoke. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Him reaching there from the throne room. There's one of the cards are going to be turned into plastic uh, for the, uh, the commanders and the generals. There's, a, then there's two other ones that become plastic for the commanders and the generals. Uh, and then, oh, I realize that's actually a mistake. This should also say squad leader in there. Editing things. Nope, nope, that's in the wrong spot. We're going to stop playing with that right now <laughs> and then um we also for the aces commanders squad leaders and generals you guys are going to be getting our new gold squadron podcast sticker the helmet symbol and then for the generals only we're getting an 11 by 14 print of our soonter fell art and it is very pretty i really like it yep yeah. it was so out of all of our alt art cards it has been the most popular one yeah um and it is i only have of the actual card like six of them left Oh, wow. That's it, because people constantly ask for them uh, if they know they exist, or as soon as they find out they exist. I do see one error in the print. Yes. Suntir Fell is in arc of two X-Wings. and Oh, that's before. He, like, that's during, you know, that's after he just finished completing his maneuver. Okay, so he needs so a barrel roll So you can see right here, this is a barrel roll to the right boost left yeah, situation. No, that seems good. That so. seems good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's go ahead and jump into this game. Oh, there's a game going on. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. We should. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do our Choose Your Champion poll. If you've never participated in those, it's really, really easy to do. All you got to do is type one or two in the chat. One is a vote for the player on the left. Two is a vote for the player on the right. So one is for Daniel. Two is for M Marcel. First Order versus the Grand Republic. So, Matt, if you were at home voting, who would you vote for? Uh, I'm going to go with Marcel, and it, it, I will say it's influenced by a little bit. I like Marcel. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I've only talked with him. <laughs> Period, and yeah. no more explanation. Yeah. I, I've only talk, talked with him, like, you know, maybe twice ever. <clears throat> but, uh, no, he's he's very cool, and he's good. So, you know, it seems good. <laughs> Helps, right? <laughs> and, uh, I just don't have a lot of faith in Quick Draw, which I know a lot of people have, I have that lack of faith right now. Mm -hmm. So she's just the... The weak point in the list, in my opinion. For sure. So, um, you know, quick draw. If you guys are not super familiar, maybe with the first order, maybe you haven't seen it too much, uh, well, welcome. It means you haven't really watched too much. Quick draw, really popular first order pilot. Um, her ability is quite awesome. Matt, can you go ahead and tell them about it? 
Quick draw is the first time you lose a shield when you're defending. Or no, it's not even when you're defending. It's just the first just time you lose when you lose a shield. Yep. Uh, you may spend a charge, mm -hmm. and that's on the pilot card, and you may perform an attack. It doesn't have to be unlike Dengar. It doesn't have to be the person that is attacking you. Mm -hmm. You can just take anybody a, take your pick as long as you haven't done a bonus attack already that round. Yep. And uh, the the problem with Quickdraw right now is that she just doesn't have the punching power that she had in first edition. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you probably had the the alpha of you either had a harpoon or. You're running expertise, so both of your shots are always like modded. Super modded, yep. Uh, and if you had fire control systems back then, it would give you a full target lock. So you could spend the full lock, have expertise, get shot, and then have full target lock and expertise, which for those of you that weren't there during that time, it turned <laughs> all your... I'm glad. Uh, all of <laughs> We're your, happy for you. <laughs> yeah, all of your eyeball <laughs> results, as long as you're not stressed, turn into hits. So you pretty much were getting full hits on two shots. So mm -hmm. it was always a question of whether you actually wanted to shoot quick draw. If you only had one arc on quick draw, you probably didn't want to. Nope. It, you only wanted to do it when you could get multiple shots, burn all the shields. And yep. that's another thing. Uh, quick draw only, it only works when quick draw has shields. So yeah, so you get three bonus attacks uh, up to three. Because th if you rip all three of them off at once, yeah. then it's only one. Um but yeah, it, it's one of those abilities where when it works, it's absolutely amazing, right? Yeah. You just, you absolutely just crushing people. Yeah. Uh, if you if you're only dinking one shield off of quick draw a turn, you're probably losing the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing that I wanted to try, but Juke went, you know, too far up to make it uh, worth it. As mm -hmm. I wanted to try, uh, kind of the similar thing where uh, Tafson was. Supporting quick draw. If you gave quick draw a juke, mm -hmm. you could put the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, uh, coordinate and evade, and then quick draw could take a regular action, you know, target lock or focus. That way, both of your shots are modded, and you can, as long as you have that evade, you could uh, knock off their, their, Defensive, uh, you know. Yep. Maybe force them to spend something on defense before they can shoot it at you. All right. Looks like Annie is doing, I believe that's a pre-maneuver barrel roll with his pilot ability, which is not considered a barrel roll action. It is a barrel roll, but not a barrel roll action. Yeah. you. <laughs> So it has to still follow the rules for a barrel roll, minus the whole, like, you can't do it while you're stressed. Yeah. Uh, and the other sneaky thing that Marcel has on Anakin is collision detector. Yeah. So you can you can really end up wherever you feel like it with Anakin. Uh, in this initial setup here, Anakin's trying to get a block, especially on something like Kylo, yeah. uh, in order to set up intimidation, which I'm expecting with seeing Anakin go in so fast, I'm expecting um, Obi-Wan and Rick to to be right there as well. Um, I'm a little worried, though, honestly, about the positioning for Anakin because Tavson is, like, might end up doing a two-turn. Yeah. And you just, you're just range one. Yeah. It's not a happy place to be. Mm-hmm. But uh, should that not happen, he does, like with Collision Detector, like you were saying, this gas cloud doesn't exist for the barrel roll next no, turn. Means, he can still do it. Oh. Means nothing. Ooh, I think that... Did he get the block? I don't think he gets the block. That might be a bad day. Oh, He did get the block. Oh, that's fantastic for him. Because so that was just a coordinated. That's amazing. I didn't, th I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, 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 we should have known Tabson already moved. So oh, it does. Sorry. Yeah. I always think in my mind that, that the Naboo Anakin is lower initiative than he is. That's yeah. my, my bad. Yeah, we're so used to having Anakin's at I-6. Mm-hmm. And Rick, as he does, comes screaming in. It's going to... That's Daredevil. Daredevil. Right there, setting Put up. all the guns on Kylo. Range, one shot, uh, and... 
Rick did do a four straight there, so he went faster than Kylo. That's going to be a range one shot. Yeah, no, that's uh, with Kylo rolling one less die. I mean, he has focus and two force, so he's still defensive, but mm -hmm. Rick's going to roll four dice into him. Obi-Wan's going to roll uh, three double modded dice into him. If you can get Kylo out, he's the strongest part of this list. He on, is, for on, sure. On, on the FO side. And then if you if you get to the point where Kylo's gone, and if you can focus down quick draw, then you have three extremely fast ships, maneuverable ships. All they have to do is stay behind Tapson. All right. We're going to go ahead and shut down that Choose Your Champion poll. Looks like Marcel's in the lead, 64% to 35. Let's see what happens. All right. Quick draw looks like range three through debris at Obi-Wan. Should be safe. First shot. It's, uh, fire control, I imagine. Does he not have target lock? Oh, well. Still got one. Sneaks one through. So had to spend the force there, right? That is correct. So that's one on Obi. Oh, sorry, man. That's all right. <laughs> ah, the, the was like, wait, wait, why are we having so much trouble? Because the table mic goes on. Okay, so Kylo's taking his shot. Only one. Well, safe. Even though he was only rolling two. Hit, hit, crit. From Obi Wan. Just takes one. I think. Natties Kylo, are good. <laughs> Kylo got out of that. <clears throat> yeah, Marcel's. That could have been better for me, and I, I, I think he made a lot of the right moves. It just dice decided decided not to pay off on that one. Uh, looks like got a range two shot here. This is Tapson going into Rick. Whiffs. Uh, hey, he gets it. It's fair, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. J justice. I think uh, I think Daniel just forgot the FCS trigger. When that could he, be it. Could be because the target lock is there. Yeah. So those uh, Worlds twenty sixteen target locks, I think. Twenty seventeen, twenty seventeen locks. Wish I could have been playing back then. Somebody introduced the game to me back in Wave Three, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, this is kind of cool." But they just showed me like the capture the cargo thing, not the actual right dogfight. Well, yeah, there was um, there's this video. I'm just trying to remember the um, the ch the YouTube channel Geek and Sundry. Yeah, that they have a t like not a tutorial, but the, like Will Wheaton, like, "Oh, yeah. let's play X Wing." The, it's so it's terrible. Like it it's is, so it, it's so bad. I've seen it. It's bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, it's cool. But right. Like it's cool that they exposed. Like they show the exposure of it. But because like the way that they played it, because they did the mission. Yeah. Like it just looked like a board game yeah. rather than what it is yeah. now. And uh, and also uh, the one thing I remember is how they did a boost on Han was they butted up the 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 one boost template right next to the three bank template so right it, they extended it, it yeah I extended the maneuver <laughs> template I was like oh that's not right but, <laughs> you know it's your first time playing a game exactly if I hadn't had guides like that I, you know people showing me the way yep I probably would have been doing weird stuff too <laughs> but yeah I wish I would have got into it then because a uh, whole lot more fun would have been had. So uh, if you notice there on the bottom right-hand side of the corner, that is the Patreon preview. No, 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 not too much spoilers yet. Can't give it all away. But what we talked about here, you can see the different levels um, and what is happening. We've got the Ink Series, um, Lieutenant, Lieutenant, oh, my goodness. Why am I, why am I struggling Leader with his name? Snoke. Supreme Leader Snoke. Um, 
crew card, and of course you get the full art on the back there. We talked about the stickers for the ace and higher level, and then the prints, those awesome Sunterfell prints for just the general level. Looks like that too hard from Tavson came in, and he just focused. No coordinate this time. Honestly, I would have thought, I would have figured for a coordinate to Kylo, give him a focus or something like that so he could do a red maneuver. Right. All right, what are we going to do? So, I think Anakin's deciding on uh, barrel roll shenanigans right now, looking at his options. Uh, again, like Matt said, because of collision detector and Anakin's ability being able to do a barrel roll before um, his maneuver, he's able to get a lot of different options on where he wants to place them. So, you might notice the kind of sequence in which this list works especially with both Anakin and Rick with having pre maneuver movement you there's a there's a pause before you reveal the dial each time yes in <coughs> Rick also has advanced sensors so he got I mean he doesn't have the ignore the gas clouds super ignore gas clouds most people do but yeah uh, he doesn't have to worry about that as well looks like a three hard We'll get the evade action. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm the debate there, he could collision detector barrel roll out of the arc yeah, if mean, he wants to. He might really want to, but it depends, <laughs> depends on what your your other aces are doing. You know, mm -hmm. maybe you want to leave Anakin there as the bait. You know, oh, he target locked, so he's choosing violence. Choose violence. Uh, that way. They shoot at baby Anakin instead of Obi-Wan or Rick Alley. Now here in the in St. Louis, so what is what is St. Louis famous for? Matt? Um, like yeah. what what is why if people want to come to this city, like what are what are they what is the place about? Okay, well we have this big metal thing that's uh it's an arch. Okay. I mean it's cool. Uh, we got a lot of free stuff here. Like, there's a uh, free art museum. There's a free zoo. Mm. The, and, like, the zoo is the s second biggest in America, I want to say. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's also free. That's so awesome. You could just go around and check. I, me growing up didn't know that was a thing that they weren't free already. Right. Anakin choosing to barrel roll to the top of the board, going for a block on quick draw. Yeah, and also trying to get away from that five die range, range one. one from yeah, Tavson. and then okay, <coughs> we also have okay. There's a lot of contention over this, but there's St. Louis style pizza. What? S this it's it's super thin crust pizza. Uh, a lot of people hate it. A lot of people like it. I think it's like it's tavern style. So here's the thing. So sh Chicago, a lot of people know like Chicago style pizza as yeah. like the thick. Yeah. The thick stuff, but uh, the tavern style, like the thin style pizza, cake was around first. Yeah. So it, I mean, it could very well could be that, but in St. Louis, we just call it pizza. Okay. You know, so it could be tavern style, <laughs> uh, but a lot of people, a lot of people I know that come in St. Louis are like, "Oh, you got to try it." I mean, it also matters where you get it from because right. I'm so sure there's. Right. So we're here. What's the good? What's a good place? My favorite is Peronis. Peronis. Okay. Uh, they're really good. Uh, Emos is a famous one, but that's one of the spots where it's like if you hit a location that's in the hood, it's not going to be good. <laughs> if, if you hit it in, you know, the nicer parts of town, it's gonna, it, it'll be much better. It's like I, I grew up in the hood, and we, you know, it's like, oh, this is this is okay, and then <laughs> grow up, you know, are able to get oh, away. Oh, he made that through! Wow. He, he did end up on the uh, on cloud. the gas cloud, but not in a range one shot. And you still get your evade action. So, you, you, not so. Oh, Marcel just opting out all the. Oh, well, he's opting into Kylo's face. He can <laughs> and barrel, barrel roll. roll and that's going to be a range one shot. Yeah, no, I think that's hello there. a great call. Yeah, hello <laughs> there. <laughs> I 
And then we used to be the home of Toaster Ravioli, but that has expanded outside of St. Louis now. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, much broader now. We also like sports. I believe he gets the block here. I will tell you, see, all my feelings about St. Louis are negative. And it's not because I'm like a super Cubs fan. Yeah. It's because when I worked for the Cubs, the most obnoxious fans were the Cardinals fans. Oh, I mean. Every time. Oh, my goodness. It was the most games we had people throwing out of the stadium. Yeah, we, we love our team. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same way with hockey. It was the same way with uh, the Rams, uh, right? Till they got taken from us. Uh, but yeah, no, we uh, we're big, we're big, we're a big sports town, and I get it. And I mean, it's also it's probably the worst with the Cubs because they're the they're the rivals, they're right? The, they're the guys next door. Exactly. You know? All right, uh, so looks like Kylo has a range three shot onto Rick. Rick has an evade. Kylo did the 4K, so he did go faster, but... Takes a crit. He still has a shield up there. Yep. <laughs> All right, range one. Target, target lock. lock from Obi. It's already starting out strong. Marcel looking for big damage. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Spend, Spend the focus. focus. Ooh, do you hold on to the force? Nah. No, he's gonna. He's not gonna use Obi's ability there. Takes hit crit. That's a shield, and a crit. Let's see what it is. Hold, hold breach. breach. Okay, that could matter. Hold breach says that when you take hits, when you take hits, they become crits. That was my first time getting to hit the crit button. Very you, fun. You I did like it. it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All right. Range three on Obi. We'll see if Marcel regrets not holding on to that focus token. Uh, so he's not taking it in the end again. That's hit, crit, crit. Ooh. Ooh. Hit, crit going into Obi. So that's... Two shields. I'd say the last of those shields, but that's not how R2 works. <laughs> R2's going to get those back. <laughs> and he's a good, in a very good spot to disengage. Same oh, thing yeah. with Rick. Rick can disengage, regen a shield. Obi can disengage, regen a shield. All right, I'm clearing that. So right now, really tight game score-wise. Daniel up 39 to 38, getting half on Obi Wan. But again, that's deceptive with yeah, Regen, yeah. Uh, especially the positioning of Obi Wan makes it so that he has an exit trajectory here towards the top of the board. Um, most likely ends up may maybe not to the left because Kylo can bust in on that really quickly. Maybe that way, but uh, you end up regening back to half easy. Oops. Now, somebody was asking earlier, what did I do for the Cubs? I was a ticket scanner and helping people find their seats. Um, I did a lot. When you work for the Cubs for, like, their, like, front line, it's, uh, you get a lot of different jobs. I think my favorite thing that I did was um, when Javi Baez was first brought up from the minors. So, he's Puerto Rican. Yeah. I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You might look at it like a little bit like, wait, let's get our Puerto Rican guy yeah, to help yeah, them. Yeah. But it was awesome, actually. I spent uh, three or four games with them, yeah. like in the stands, just hanging out with them. What do you guys need? Yeah. And just talking about, like, oh, where's your family from and all that. It was it was really cool to get to know his family. Uh, got to meet him once, obviously. Yeah. Like cause when we were done with the games, I went home. I wasn't yeah, yeah. hang out away from them, but uh, it was fun. Right on. Are you uh, a Sox fan at all? I actually Sox is my preferred team. That's when I look at Chicago, I like the Sox. Yeah. So but I, that's also flavored by I love the Cards, so I hate the I have I contractually right. obligated to hate the Cubs. Right. See, but I'm one of those so my um my father's godson is Jose Valentin. If you know anything about White Sox baseball, Jose Valentin played shortstop for the White Sox for a long time. So um but growing up, he started by playing for the Brewers. 
All right. Okay. So at first, like so, from like when I was like two to two to two to six, two to five, we went to Cubs games because yeah. when he would come and play the Cubs, we'd get tickets there. But once he started playing for the Sox, we just went to Sox games all the time. So I was this kid who liked both teams, and I've always been bullied for this. Yeah. Right. Like you can't, you have to choose. So basically, for me, when I watch baseball, I want the Cubs and the Sox to win all the time, except for when they play against each other. I want the Sox to win. Yeah. Basically, I want the Cubs to win two. Yeah. two oh, I want the Cubs to lose two games a year. Yeah. That's it. Don't listen to anything anybody says. They don't have to. They don't get to dictate what you Haters. like. Haters. Yeah. <laughs> That's like saying you could only like Empire or Rebels. It's like, no, I like to fly both. No. <laughs> I'm a, I am a servant of seven factions. That's I, right. I mean, I fly some less than others, but. But I love them all. Yeah, I, I, I love and respect them all. What faction would you say is the one that you've played the least competitively? S uh, I'll just say competitively or just in general, CIS. Okay. Separatist because I the least amount of game time and uh, I'm not big on swarms. Okay. There's, there's so much you have to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I flew Fen in some scum ties back when the scum tie first came out. And yeah. I was like, okay, this is a decent list, but I just don't have the patience for this list. Mm -hmm. it's, there's too many times. Like I said, the more, more I play, the more I bump, bump ships. And when you have six ships on the board, it's more common. Same thing with the the droids. Is I just don't have the patience for all the ships. All right, I think we're we're set here. Daniel's been set for a while. Marcel is weaving the web in his mind right now. All right, they're ready to go. Using sense, free at range one. We didn't get a chance to hear or see what they what's there. We'll find out when it's revealed. Well, that, that that maneuver there makes sense. Yeah, taps in one bank, controlling the center of the board at the moment. Remember these Upsilon shuttles don't have any turnaround maneuvers. I would have been fine with the one bank the other way. You may have bumped, but Tapson can act, get actions the other way, and y you're still a four die shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Rick was might have gone this way. Anakin could have gone this way. There's a very little chance that I mean he can escape here. So getting him in your arc may not be too easy. I think maybe the the thought though, continuing thinking about Obi Wan, is if you can get Obi Wan into the corner, you might be able to. You know, force force an engagement where Lieutenant Tavson might have a range one. It looks like he had a specific plan though, because he just coordinated quick draw to barrel roll. So perhaps there's uh, more shenanigans. Shenanigans afoot. afoot. But, yeah, that, that we know. Side to side method. Boop. There we go. Utilizing the tools that we have. Oh, it's a talent. All right. Somebody asking in the chat, Upsilon or Upsilon? Well, the Greek pronunciation is Upsilon. So, yeah. I say ups, but I won't I won't fault anybody <laughs> either way. You're wrong, man. You, You're say, wrong. <laughs> you say what you want to say. It's like Han or Han. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nianum or Nianum, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I actually heard that it's it's actually nine num. Yeah, I heard that too. Because you got nine and ten. ten. Nine num, ten num. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. And that it was, makes a lot of sense. And it was sense. named for the like, uh, it was like the ninth, either like like model of that face yeah. or something like that that they had made. Yeah. So that one we actually have our official name for, but. Hard three. Getting around the mountain doesn't clip the gas cloud here. Oh, not regening either. He, I choose violence. This is right. Was he? Str is it interesting? Oh, he advanced sensors focus. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, he doesn't suspect he'll take shots. So yep. who needs the evade? <laughs> they just said he chooses violence on this, on on the table, Mike. Oh. He says no regen. Interesting. It looks like the shot that'll be taken from Tavson will be range three through debris. So 
it's not a bad call. Yeah, look at that, man. Marcel, he said no regen, so he has two fours. He's got a lock on Kylo. Kylo is the uh, the ace. Did he get the block? He's going to get the stress because he is hitting the yep. obstruction. Quick draw. Getting past Kylo. And he, like you said, he is stress. Currently no target lock set up on Obi-Wan. Roll for damage. See, if, see what he gets. Nothing. All right. Looks like range two unobstructed from quick draw to Obi. Yes, yeah, th this is here. <laughs> get that corrected before they start shooting. Yeah. FCS rolls it into a hit, so he's r rolling hit crit. Did remember FCS that time. Uh, looks like he spent a force and will only take the crit. What happened? Uh, quick draw shot in the Obi Wan, and Obi Wan evaded Stunned one. Stunned pilot. Stunned. Not super bad. It's you got a. Not as bad as the... Don't touch obstacles. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Obi-Wan back into Kylo. Yeah. I feel like that might be the right choice. Yeah, he's trying to, trying to clear him now. Yep. You have target lock, spending, spending the lock. All right, so you know he would be willing to spend the force on offense here. Yeah. And you spend that force, yeah. Three. Who Kylo has two force available. Spends both force. That, but that means he's gonna he's gonna be eating the advanced proton torpedo here pretty soon. Yeah. If it, if that's range one, I don't know if it is. It's close. Rick's he's all guns in on Kylo. Marcel has set a win condition, and it is killed Kylo. And it safe. All right, now it'll be Kylo's shot. Kylo and Anakin. That looks like range two. Just one. Ha, <laughs> evaded. Just the two dice. Here's Anakin. Spend the force. Pew pew. Could this could this finally do some damage? No. no. Kylo says no. I don't need the force. I refuse. All hail Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Four dice through Ooh. the cloud. That's dangerous. And oh. there it is, paying for not disengaging and regening. He's taking a crit. No, oh, no, oh, one was the. Yep. It's uh, forgetting about the obstruction. Still. Council fire. Down the one hole. You know, Marcel on the on the, on the chat on the uh, on the table mic says, "Oh, the owns dice." No, 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 Marcel, <laughs> you chose to stay engaged with Obi Wan when you f know full well that you should have disengaged. You literally said, "No, nah, let's just lean on the dice and hope that everything goes well." Love you, buddy. No, 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 no. Wrong choice. This was wrong. Sad face. You played yourself, <laughs> son. 
dice could have been better, but you could have also been not taking shots at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you choose violence, but sometimes violence chooses you. <laughs> <laughs> violence definitely. <laughs> hey, he, he chose violence, and violence They're like, okay. hit, hit back. You, you called, son? <laughs> You ring. I'm here. But and now he's not in that same position of I can run away and. Yep, and I mean, in all, in all, um, in all seriousness, like the, the expectations there is to have had done more damage to oh, Kylo definitely. for he, sure. I mean, with the potential to clean him, you know, clean yeah. him off the board. If if that advanced proton torpedo had been active, you Ooh. know, if it had if it had been range one, just barely out, yeah, just barely out, it would have been 100% the right call because Ob stripped all the force, so Kylo would have had no mods on defense versus a five die attack. Yeah. So at the moment, we're waiting. Looks like Kylo. Yeah, Kylo's in a weird spot. Rick, three forward. Marcel should have used the autopilot drone. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure if he could have, he would have. <laughs> that That is a uh, Marcel Manzano favorite for sure. You know, it's very interesting how with the amount that we have covered and streamed and done all this stuff, how the people watching understand these weird <laughs> yeah. idiosyncrasies of, of the people who are commonly on the stream. Yeah. Like, of course, I'm like, I'm myself. I'm always curious to know, like, I wish I could be inside the brain of somebody like, oh, Dion has X habits. Like, I think I know what habits I have, but I don't listen to myself. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's well, not... I mean, even if, like, say... You I mean, you don't do the editing anymore, right? Right, yeah. yeah. So it was like, but even when you were doing it, it's still you, you know? Right. You don't notice your tics. It's like correct when you're in high school or college or whatever and you write a paper, mm -hmm. you go back through and, like, look through it. You don't notice your mistakes. I mean, right. you'll catch some, but just because it was you that wrote it. Yeah, you, other proofreaders is always good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that kind of uh, phenomenon going on. I think one take I have, uh, at least this last half of the season, is I seem to be always slightly sick or more yeah. for uh, all these streams. So No, I uh, I brought uh, Hull's drops, uh, you know, throat soothers just because I knew I'd be talking all day. Oh, yeah. I actually might. Can I, can I steal one of those from you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there you go. go. All right, here is the sense trigger. We've listened to hours of the harmonious voice of Dion and keep coming back for more. And that's good. Yeah. At least it tells me, I guess, I don't have an annoying voice, yeah, which is no, good. No, no. I think I need a I Choose Violence sticker for my X-Wing case. I know I would take one. I can make some. Yeah. I need to put a disclaimer at the bottom. This is a joke, and it, like, like a, yeah, it's yeah. small. It's small print, like the full explanation yeah. of what happened. Yeah, there's no. I would not wear a I choose violence shirt. Right. <laughs> that <laughs> seems like you're asking for trouble. Right. Oh my God! You got your your people who get triggered about everything on the internet. Yeah. All right, so that's a bump there. Just keeping taps in back to make sure you have yeah. that four dice gun available. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see uh, a way that Obi-Wan gets out of that arc. You know, if he was facing not that direction. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> was there a way there that was, he could have not done that? He had an opportunity to, uh, to fly in the other direction. All right, here's Anakin just trying to be in the way, trying to save his bro. And the thing about... That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Smallenberg, I like that comment, says, My wife doesn't care about X-Wing, but she knows Dion's voice and his laugh. Hello, Mrs. Smallenberg. <laughs> uh, All right. Gets the evade from uh, going full throttle. 
are we figuring out here? Grab the wrong one, yep. Uh, okay, so he target locked us this action. Okay. We had the target lock set up already, didn't he? Or did he spend it the last turn? I thought he had it set up. I, I thought he had, wrong. yeah, because he he spent the the focus. I think maybe he's maybe he switched it to quick draw because he's potentially getting a shot on quick draw here. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, yes, that's what it was on Kylo. Yep. And I assume it was quick draw that he sensed. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Rick's coming in hot, gets the free evade, and he's going to target lock Kylo. Went faster than Kylo, so we'll be rolling more dice. Obi-Wan. That's going to be a bump yep. on himself. Hmm. So I mean, he, he gets hoping that quick draw pops over here. Yeah, as long as, as long as quick draw doesn't knock out Obi Wan, he still has a range one, albeit unmodified shot on Kylo, and then Rick can also shoot at him. There's potential to get that the the pointy boy out of the way. Oh, quick oh, draw bumps into Obi Wan. Bumps into Obi. That's not. That's okay. Yeah, uh, quick draw have shots on Rick, but. Rick went faster, is a, has a debris, only taking one shot, has that evade. Rick should be fine. Council fire does trigger here, though. Oh, no. Safe. Oh. You're saying there's still a chance. Can't complain about Dion's dice now. <laughs> All right, there's average. And got one through. That's a crit on, uh, on Kylo. Oh, quick trucks. Arc is forward. Structural That's damage, minus one agility. Oh, this is huge. You got is, Rick behind him I think at this range is two. The turn. Spend target lock. He's got two crits. Ooh. What do you got? Uh, so crit, crit, but Kylo has to roll paint. Oh, he's taking another crit. Takes another one. That He's uh, down to one. Can't exactly see what the crit was. Looks like it might be a console fire. It's really hard to tell. Yeah. Now, looks like it's Tavson because it's the only one that has the mm. shot. Yep. Tavson, four dice, only Ooh. one hit. Obi has a chance. He needs an evade. No force available and oh. eats it. <laughs> it's his choices. Don't blame me. <laughs> Let me go check on that. Yeah. <laughs> go check on that trend. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we're having a little Gold Squadron scrabble. <laughs> Dio is making fun of Marcel for choosing violence. It's very nice. <laughs> uh, got some Fs in the chat for for the loss. <laughs> Only a few uh, throw, few punches were exchanged. Dion came back safely. <laughs> I did. It was council fire. Okay, it was council fire. Your dice. They're rolling the same dice. I know. There's only four of each out there right now. Violence is a fickle mistress. <laughs> Not wrong. Just these, these these quotes are just so good. They're just so great. In our context. Gold Squadron Podcast does not <laughs> condone the use of actual violence in real life. Video games, memory are fine. That's it. Well, Rick can definitely put the hurt on Kylo this round. Uh, 
assuming I, I don't know what he can, how what his angle is on that the debris, but maybe a street maneuver will work. But Kylo could also turn in towards where Tafson would have a shot. Yeah. If Kylo goes that way, Tafson could just do the one bank, so making any Rick maneuvers to pursue very hazardous. Yep. You know. Oh, another another thing to note, Marcel didn't have to sense there. Yeah, that's very true. He had no pre he had he no He didn't change anything. Right, he yeah. didn't change anything. If he, he would have had sense. that one force. He would have been fine. Yeah. So Marcel, when you watch this back, this your fault, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Your fault. Uh, we need to deal one damage to Obi Wan. Ah, yes. Finish him. There it is. So Daniel up seventy-seven to thirty-eight. Marcel it needs to score forty points. Uh, <laughs> Chewbacca forty. This Amino is an imposter. <laughs> so uh, r real talk, Sam. Um, I met. I've known this Amino longer than I've known you, sir. Longer than you've known of me. Ah, so Chewbacca is uh, same Samino. Yes. Okay. All right. The, the, the I did not know the the identity. I, I just knew that uh, defenders need a different price. Yes. From Chewbacca. Correct. <laughs> Two hundred and one points. Yes. My dad's name is Daniel. That's fantastic. All right. Here's Obi. Sorry, not Obi. Uh, Annie. One straight will get you a block, but I don't know what else. Kylo booking it. Anakin trying to track him down here soon. Hopefully, the uh, I think Marcel wants to see if Quick Draw will jump in front of him. I think he was also trying to block that too hard that I was talking about, mm -hmm. which would have left Rick with a great shot. Ooh. Oops. But Rick, this might be four. some uh, Daredevil action. But the problem with Daredevil, of course, is that you're unmodified when you do it. it takes would, the focus. I would have just target locked Kylo because you're you're not gonna have a. I don't assume anybody's gonna shoot at you, so you save it. Oh, well, he at the, is he in, is he in? Did he stay in Arc of Tavson? I don't think he's in Arc of Tavson. It it could be close. Crook draws doing it too hard. I think we'll see a focus rotate out of quick draw to get a shot in. And should Rick choose to shoot at you, you could potentially double tap. So which crit did he fix? He fixed console fire. I would imagine console fire. That, cause that's Cause the structural one that damage can can't be fixed. That's another good reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like console fire can kill you and structural damage can't be fixed. Are you going to barrel roll? Bear rolling back and uh, he is he is rotating. Yep. Oh. All right, that's quick draw out the back. Spends, Spends the force. force. Evades both. Uh, out of arc. Out of, oh, Looks do you like have he it? He might have it. Quick draw is tilted forward a little. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's got it. Ooh. And hit, hit, crit. There you go. If he's fortunate, he could take them all. Ah, just two. Two shields, and that's going to be a bonus attack for quick draw. But he's got to chase it. Seems two like hits. A good roll. Oh, no evade. evade there. One evade. One evade. I mean, sorry, no evade token available. Okay, So he gotcha. does take a shield. Yeah. 
Range one, Tafson. Dude, he have has her? it. I don't, I don't understand why he why he didn't barrel roll out of Tafson's arc. I, I mean, could be, a, you know, the angle that I have, but I swear he's out of arc, but, you know. That's a chunk of dice. Three. There's potential. He did go faster than him, so he could roll three dice. Spend an evade. Got yeah, it. I got it. I, st I stayed in arc on purpose. I knew I wouldn't take damage anyway. Yeah. I, I have a mantra that I don't shoot at Rick <laughs> because it always seems like the right wrong. It, it, it seems like it could be a good answer. <laughs> Got some noise from a, a like Aces high table. That's right. They're having a good time over there. Uh, hey, yeah. people in the chat, we were talking about this earlier. Would you, do you find this exciting? I was debating for an event, a Gold Squadron official event, uh, a decathlon style event where part of the day is aces high, part of it is normal X-Wing, and part of it is uh, an epic game. Okay. Uh, again, no, I don't have any specifics. Basically, I'd want you to choose a faction. You don't have to use your, like, it's not escalation where you have to yeah. use what you used earlier. You can build whatever you want in your faction each time. Um, and it'd be in Chicago and a lot of fun. We hope. Does that, does that sound like something you'd want to come to? Let me know. Chewbacca. Uh, Let me know in the comments down below. I, uh, the co-commentator is Matt Carey. You come in. <laughs> that would be a triathlon. Sorry, yes, triathlon. It's very true. Would you do, just to keep, make things faster for Epic? Uh-huh. Epic? Epic? You know, you know Epic. Uh-huh. Three by three Epic. I mean, I think that is uh, a game mode now with the new yeah. set. I didn't. I haven't opened my boxes yet. They're yeah, at yeah. home, but uh, I but yeah. bought them because I've been here. <laughs> how, about, how about Mario instead of Epic? Honestly, uh, that that creates a whole nother dimension to the complication of running that yeah. type of event. Yeah, I like the idea of a race, but you know, slow play, and if you're just playing to who win, who wins first. Yeah. Uh, who gets past the the finish line first? Yep. Then the game it goes on for an indefinite amount of time. Yep. And you can't have several different tables going on for an indefinite amount of time. Yeah. Unless you have everybody that's in the event play on that same. Yeah, map, exactly. Which, which would be absolutely the, absurd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the price on the event would skyrocket because then I'd have to print Mario Kart mats and all this stuff. Like I have designs for Mario Kart, yeah. but. Or have to make a bunch by hand. Uh, yeah, yeah. I ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, nope, 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 Anakin nope. gets the block. Oh, man. When Rick comes in, Rick's going to go fast. Oh, yeah. You got structural damage. Intimidation. <laughs> if Rick does not kill. Zero agility. Let's go. Okay. If Rick has a shot and doesn't kill Kylo, he can blame your dice. <laughs> <laughs> False. <laughs> but I do recall last turn. Rick rolled two evades and had an evade to spend. Took no damage from a range one Upsilon. Can't complain too much. Hmm. Think you evade and then boost and hope to get out of arc. So I'm not certain how well the barrel fits. So took the evade. He's debating the boost. On average dice, he would get two hits. Uh, but if it's range one, he also went faster than Kylo. So yeah. that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, yeah, on yeah, average, yeah, no, it would no, be no, two. I'm, I follow you now. That's why he should have target locked last turn because then it would have even better. Well, look at that. <laughs> but also, I guess he knew that he was in Tapson's arc, yeah. which I could not see. How many players? I don't know off the top of my head. Looks like we got P's one and deck 104 both subscribed. Thank you guys. What? <laughs> All right. That boost was a very good call because 
it looks like he may have gotten him out of Quitrow's arc and Tafson's arc and left him with a fantastic shot on to Kylo. <laughs> All right. Let's see what that range one shot is. Rotates to the front. No, we're not sure if he has the angle. Took an evade for range evade one. For whatever Here we go. Got the two. That's all it takes to kill. <laughs> hey. And both get through. All right, your di your dice are safe there, Dion. I'm telling you, man. Everybody be blaming my dice. No, no. It, they serve me well at Gen Con. Listen, they 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 love no one. That's yep. what I've discovered. It's like, listen, they're built for drama. See, right now, <laughs> look 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 at this score right now, seventy seven seventy six. That is drama. And you know, let me let me tell you this, Matt. And I I will speak this. I will speak frankly because Marcel is my friend, okay, and 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 he's like a brother to me. I he if he loses this game, and so first already right the the decision not to regen with Obi Wan and run away. Wrong decision. Yes. But the other thing Marcel's notoriously bad at is counting points. He doesn't know that he's down by one point, but I would bet that he also doesn't know how close he is. Yes. Yes. Like he just plays, and he is—he's a good player, right? Yeah, like there's, yeah. there's oh, most no, a lot of good. his games, uh, you know, he's winning handily. Yeah. Um, but this is one of those situations where he's not his strongest when it's this close. Yes. Maximus 515, deck 1004. Uh, sorry, we got 1004. Who else? It was a couple of the P's. One, thank you guys so much for your Twitch sub. Love you guys. Remember, guys, if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch and get one free Amazon, uh, sorry, one free Twitch Prime subscription every 30 days and by doing that you can support your favorite content creators and if you use it here on gold squadron podcast it donates two dollars and change to us we really appreciate it It makes a big difference in how we're able to get to all these events it really makes a big difference guys now rick has a, a decent spot here but anakin really isn't a I don't know. You got quick draw and tabs and bearing down on the only direction you can really go. Well, a couple of positives here is the fact that Marcel has taken off two of the shields of quick draw. She's got one more retaliatory shot. Yes. If you can try to get that shield off while she's not pointing an arc at you, that can help. Uh, Anakin's in a bad spot right now just because of the way he's, like you said, he's facing. And Daniel, you know, one great thing he's done, his use, his maneuver selection on Tavson has made it so that he's constantly I said it earlier he's funneling Marcel into the corner which makes Mar which makes the Upsilon extremely effective well, he's holding it back making sure he gets that four dice gun on target and it's always been in the fight it is yep had shots for the last three or four rounds which is impressive for a ship that is moves chunkily I won't say it's bad yeah there's a the barrel roll towards the bottom of the board So, <laughs> he spoke into the microphone and said, Dion, I'm choosing violence again. <laughs> okay. One bank, no regen here. Uh, he can't regen. He doesn't have R2. Wasn't on. Uh, he's supposed to have R2. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, we you just mistyped it. It's not, not a big deal. Overlay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go ahead and fix it. It's not a big deal. There it is right there. <laughs> and just barely misses it. Ooh. Quick draw. Gonna, gonna give it to him. And Rick did choose violence again. He did the... The talent roll? The talent roll. <laughs> Advanced sensors of focus did a talent roll. 
Like this, this turn is just way too aggressive. I think for Marcel. Love you, man. It's too too aggressive. He does. But I know he likes playing this way. It's fine. It's fun. That's the sh that's for sure. It's quick draw into, I believe, Anakin. Spends focus for three. Now this is in the Rick. Oh, it's in the Rick. Yep. Takes one. Rick takes one. Let's the shield down. One away from half. Range two at quick draw. Oh, three blanks. <laughs> <laughs> you trolled yourself, son. That's on you, not me. <laughs> Okay. Five dice. This how's, is how's about that for dice betrayal? Now he won't remember this one. Though. Yeah, no, that's no, that's no. that's the thing. Chooses. Oh, he already spent the force. Yeah, I forgot yep. for the barrel roll. So shield crit crit could take her out if we got a double in there. We haven't seen any double damage. Structural. Structural and this disable power good. regulator. Didn't quite do it, and will trigger quick draws. Backfire ability? Return fire ability. Shooting at Rick again. Fanatical. Yep. Four, three. Rick. Spends, spends a focus, focus and, and that's going to be down to one. Tyco1707 and Chubraka40. Thank you guys for your subs. Gifting 10 each. Now, oh, I forgot about Tavson. No. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> there is another. <laughs> oh. One hit, two. Takes one. All right, now, if Marcel does not choose violence from now on, uh huh, he could get two shields back on Rick. He could. And that'll be above, that'll get him half. That would get him above half. half. Now, I'm, I'm working on getting the, uh, the list done again so that we can actually get the right sword because this 107 is not right. Yeah. So Obi Wan just had those three cards, right? Is that right? Yep. 12! 12! What did Anakin have on him? Advanced protons, collision detector, and intimidation. And Rick had advanced sensors. Yes. That's it. There you go. Let's go ahead. Copy. And we got to remember the, the game state here. Okay. Uh, Obi-Wan's oh. dead. Three Rick, Rick. and one. Yeah. All right, guys, the score is going to reset. Just give us a second. That's right. And then shields down on Rick. There you go. Boom. Okay. There we go. 107 to 76. Now, if Rick disengages, he mm -hmm. could regen. Oh, yeah. But that, I mean, that's a big if. That's a if. That'll get him 30, 29 points, right? Or 20, 28 points. Okay, we, can actually, we can actually just, just do this. Where would that get him? That would bring it back to the score of oh, one. Oh, we forgot to quick draw his health. Quick draw. Oh, wait a second. Is this still a one-point game? <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's hilarious. Anakin could potentially run into Tavson, regen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Rick <laughs> could regen and run away. 
Oh. But will he? No, <laughs> he won't do it. I mean, I get it, because quick draw is at one hull. Yeah. It's tempting. Plot twist. Still, a, it went from a one-point game to a one-point game. That advanced proton torpedo really showing its uh, its worth there. Smallenberg, you are correct. Drama dice is right. <laughs> It's fine. He won't remember. He won't remember that this was a close game. He'll yeah. just remember that he. W I was losing the whole time. <laughs> Looks like one bank stays off the rock, so he can still threaten. I think more than anything, he might just be going for a block mm -hmm. unless Rick comes in. Ooh, <laughs> I. You just gotta go, Marcel. Do it. Run away. All right, looks like a little bit of breaking news. Uh, Jesper Winstrom, formerly known as Jesper Hills, top Swiss at the Swedish Grand Championships in Sweden. Yep. So Anakin getting by Tafsen here. Did not regen. Why? Oh, no, it looks like he did. Did Th he? There's a shield back. Did so he just not put the – he didn't put the no-shoot token out. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. Blink. Okay. All right, you're doing it. And he put a target lock on Tafson, it looks, or maybe yeah. quick draw, quick draw. Rick is regenning. <laughs> one bank. <sighs> you range one of. <laughs> range one of Tafson? Yeah. See. <sighs> Run away. That's what you're I guess you know he was he was stressed. He didn't have advanced sensors available. Oh yeah, three hard was out yep. instead of a, a three bank. A three bank would have put you on the rock with a fifty percent chance to knock that shield off. You got back. Yep. However, not you. He wouldn't five have dice from <laughs> Tapson. I don't know. Seems bad. It's like who do I want? The rock or five dice from Tapson? Mm. And now quick draw also has the rear shot. It's still close. Here we go. Let's uh, give Rick a shield back. All right, so that's range one from... Oh. Only took the shield. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, see, when this stuff happens to Marcel, I, I get a little, I get a little like triggered. I'm like, you made the wrong choice. You need to be punished. <laughs> you need to be punished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan Samino. And I want, I want to anybody who's watching this in the future. Maybe you're just tuning in now. I know both of these guys really well, so I'm a little more casual with this game than usual, because. Again, it's just buddies. Yeah. It's buddies. Uh, quick draw got an eye on because quick draw had the disabled power regulator. Yep. So here's the bump from Tafson. What do we got here with Anakin? Uh, and quick draw will not be able to rotate, by yeah. the way. That's important to note. Yeah. And if Anakin boosts, oh, no. That was a talent, a talent. talent roll. I mean, either way, you got a target lock on. Quick draw has one hole left. We. Advanced sensor focus with Rick. Nice. And there is the talent roll. Using the side to side method, by the way. Keep it keep it simple. So quick draw cannot rotate because they are ioned, and the ion says that you can only perform focus actions during your activation step. So there's no link there. So he can get a focus, just can't link it. All right. Oh, Marcel. This is, you got me biting my teeth, <laughs> my teeth, my fingernails. No, biting your teeth. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and hit crit through the rock. Five minutes. So base two. Structural damage. Gone. Oh. Quick draw. Out. All right, Marcel, complain about the dice. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. 
it, you're doing a fantastic job. Though. <laughs> All right. And Anakin. Range two. Spend the force. Uh, Tavson's using his ability to target lock. First mm -hmm. time he's used his ability all game. That's the, the hard part about Tavson. Is like so Tavson I'm, took two there? I believe so. Just give him a second, see. Because no, nothing got yeah, nothing. nothing got flipped. Yeah. Oh, last turn. Yeah, sorry, fam. Didn't realize what you said. Chewbacca. Oh, okay, never mind. I see what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if there's something that tells us which <laughs> which round it is right on the screen. Sometimes I, I know that some people, they might have the chat open, yeah. but not maybe have a video on. But then they're listening. Are they asking me? Are they asking the people? I don't I don't know. Paul Stryker, you're giving people crutches by answering the question. <laughs> you must learn where the round is. Yeah, it's round three, guys. Having some fun. Oh, yeah. He, he went forward with Anakin, but then immediately used it as a marker to yep. move Rick. Who regen the shield? Yep. Oh, we're running away now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so we're doing the right decisions now all, all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, just checking. It's fine. I just work here. Two on two, this is Anakin just gonna keep hunting down that Upsilon. Does one damage. And I tell you, our clock is a little bit uh, behind. Um, but not far. No. Ulfric1066. I met Ulfric at Worlds. Good guy. I walk away for five minutes and Marcel turns this around. Yeah. I mean, it was always a close game. Yeah. Like, we, for the majority of the game, it was one point difference. See, I think, I think Marcel, I think his secret is that he always just walks around with, like, I'm losing the game on his shoulder. I, I think that's what it is. Yeah. But it's like with uh, Rick and Quick Draw costing the same amount, those being very close would uh, make it a close game and then. So Kylo, those of you Kylo and Co uh, Kenobi being <laughs> one point apart. What were you gonna say, Dion? Um, well, so here, here's a here's a couple couple of notes. Um, if Daniel can manage to get Rick and Ark, you have an Anakin versus Tavson ending. If Tavson's full and Anakin or like not half, yeah. then Anakin's full. Uh, Daniel would win the game. Yeah, by one point. <laughs> Again, Anakin can barrel roll by spending a force without actually performing a barrel roll. Yep. It's not performing an action, so it's fine while he's stressed. One man. Paul Stryker haven't had an opportunity to take a look at it yet. And three banking. Oops. Banking towards the bottom of the board. Just working to get out of the arc. Get your evade. Probably boost. Make sure that you're out. Yep. It's a forward boost here. They'll take that range ruler out and find out. Hit crit crit coming in. Takes two shields. Almost half on Tapson. Out. Just out. Time. time has been called in a round. round time is over. 
did they get into planning? Yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, at this point, Rick could have run away anyway, right. and then Anakin can do damage. He doesn't need to, but. Yeah, I think the big mistake I think that we, we talked about earlier that we, we missed and now we can talk about it now is the fact that Quick Draw did miss an opportunity to rotate, rotate. earlier and take a, a brings one shot into Rick. Yeah, uh, from behind. So yeah. the rotate there gonna gonna haunt Daniel. Yep. All this round does is give more opportunity for Marcel to pump some M O V into his uh into his life. <laughs> So I uh, want to remind you guys that this round and this weekend stream are brought to you by our patrons. If you want to become a part of the largest group of supporters we have, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Here is a preview, a um, little tease for what we have coming here, including swag for our newest level. We have our general level, our, uh, our prince that we're going to be including for that level. We'll talk about that in a little bit. The Tavson trying to reach, trying to reach. Large bank. Anakin just doing his thing. Probably his just boosts. Boost. Yeah. If he can do one more shield of damage, he gets just one more. Rick, five straight, three bank. What do we got? Three hard. Three bank. And then just boost. Yeah, boost to the edge of the board. GG. And the only shot we have here is Anakin. Spends, Spends a forward. force. Can he get it? He just needs paint. Spend it. No half points for you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the game, 135 to 107. Congratulations to Marcel Manzano winning this third round. Now, there we were talking uh, for a little bit about our uh, upcoming Patreon set rewards. These are going to be shipping in uh, January 2020. We basically get, we send out swag quarterly. And um, we have revealed right now the general level will be getting a 11 by 14 print of our Sunter Fell art. That was a card that we uh, gave away in one of our first sets in second edition. And people love that art so much that, uh, so you know what, let's make this the first general one. You can put that on your wall, give it to somebody as a gift. Super, super nice. We have three pilots to be revealed um, for our other full arts. What ends up happening is those three, again, will be this really awesome beautiful art and what will happen is we'll make plastic versions of them and what will happen is one of them the squad leaders commanders in general will get and then the other two will the plastic versions will also go to the commanders and the generals so thank you to everybody who has become a patron you guys are awesome so it's time for giveaways if you haven't been a part of a gold squadron podcast stream before after every single round we give stuff away so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the giveaway machine. Uh, what? What is? What? What is this? Oh, ah, bad at typing. Um, in order to participate in the giveaways, all you gotta do is type in the chat. That's it. Just type something. No big deal. Very, very easy. You don't gotta pay for nothing. All you gotta just be here. If you're here, you're winning. Well, you're trying at least. <laughs> all right. Here we go. We're going to give away the first item. First item is one of these absolutely awesome new squadron pilots. So it's gumboats. You need some gumboats for this one because it is literally a gumboat. If you don't know the story of this one, this is a uh, you know, picture from the TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter game. Three, two, one. The winner is... S. Malenberg. Smallenberg. 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 It's probably S. Malenberg. You're probably I don't right. Know. <laughs> Congratulations! He was the one that earlier that said that his that his family like knows my my voice. Ah, yes, <laughs> love it. Okay, so uh, next we have an Arch Alliance double sided uh, range one ruler. That was super awesome. You got Tie Fighter on one side, X Wing on the other. Let's give it away. Three, two, one. Wrong window. Roll. <laughs> 
uh, Ma's room. He got one earlier. Oh, that's not right. Sorry, well, that's an error. Sorry, Maze Room, you won one earlier. I hope you understand. I think actually you won one of this, right? Same thing. Could be. I don't quite remember. Maze Room, I'll send you something else, okay? Send you something else if you got the same thing. Here we go. Three, two, one, get it. Hawked Matter. Hawked Matter, congratulations. All right. And now we have an Arch Alliance koozie. Ooh. Here we go. Three, two, one. Arch Alliance Koozie, go. B Bowers 001. Ba Bow. B -ba Bowers. Congratulations, guys. We got more stuff coming after every round. We still have three more rounds of X Wing here from St. Louis. We're watching the Grand Championships here with Gold Squadron Podcast. Don't go too far. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm.